in this video, we got to simplify each of these four expressions. So notice that here we're going to be mixing operations, adding, subtracting, and multiplying as well. So we got these two brackets that we're multiplying by each other. In number one, we got 2 root 2 plus 3 root 5 in one bracket times 7 root 3 plus root 2 in the other. When you get something like this, what you're doing is, uh, actually, let me write the equal sign down here. I feel like I'll need more room. Basically, what you're doing here is just foiling out. So you take 2 root 2, multiply it by 7 root 3. And that would give us what? 2 times 7 gives us 14. And then root 2 times root 3 gives us root 6. Now, sometimes you may want to actually write out 2 root 2 times 7 root 3 and then all the rest. But uh, in this case, we're just going to multiply it. Uh, we're not going to write it out. We're just going to go straight into the answer. So 2 root, uh, 2 root 2 times 7 root 3 gives us 14 root 6. And then 2 root 2 times root 2. There's like a 1 in front here. So 2 times 1 gives us 2. And then root 2 times root 2, that is just 2. And then we do these two, so 3 root 5 times 7 root 3, 7 times 3 gives us 21, and then root 5 times root 3 gives us root 15, and then this one times that, 3 times 1 gives us 3, and then root 5 times root 2 gives us root 10. And then from here, you try to look for like terms. And notice that there is actually no like terms and we can't simplify the radicals. The root 6 can't simplify that. 2 times 2, that just ends up being 4. Uh, root 15 can't simplify that. Root 10 can't simplify that. So that is actually your simplified answer. It doesn't look like a simplified answer because there's tons of expressions, but there's no like terms, right? All the radicals are different. All the radicals are simplified and then we have this uh, constant here. So you could put the constant in front or you could put it uh, at the back, but either way, that is your final simplified answer for number one. So sometimes your answers are gonna look like this. There's gonna be a bunch of expressions. As long as there's no like terms, you can't simplify further, then you're all good. Now, four plus three root two squared we would rewrite that as 4 plus 3 root 2 times 4 plus 3 root 2, like that. And then you would FOIL this. So 4 times 4 gives us 16. And then 4 times 3 root 2, 4 times 3 gives us 12. And then the root 2 we keep as is. Then uh, 3 root 2 times 4, that gives us 12 root 2 again. And then 3 root 2 times 3 root 2, 3 times 3 gives us 9, and then root 2 times root 2 gives us 2. Right, and here we have more like terms. So notice that 9 times 2 is 18, then 18 plus 16, that gives us what, 34? And then 12 root 2 plus 12 root 2, those are like terms, the radicals are the same here. So we would add the coefficients in front. So this would be 24 root 2. Then the root 2, we can't simplify that any further. Can't add these. They're not like terms. This one doesn't have a radical. So 34 plus 24 root 2, that's your final answer. And again, you can always check your answer with these. You could plug this into your calculator. Make sure you put brackets there. Plug that into your calculator, and then you could see whether the decimal values are the same or not. Moving on to number three, we got 2 root 5 minus 3 root 2 squared. So like we did in number two, you can rewrite this as 2 root 5 minus 3 root 2 times 2 root 5 minus 3 root 2. Right, just two brackets you're multiplying out. Then you FOIL it out. So 2 root 5 times 2 root 5, 2 times 2 gives us 4. Root 5 times root 5 gives us 5. And then this times this, 2 times negative 3 gives us negative 6. Root 5 times root 2 gives us root 10. And then here, negative 3 times 2 gives us negative 6. Root 2 times root 5 gives us root 10. 
and then this times that, negative three times negative three, that gives us positive nine, and then root two times root two gives us two. So here, 20 plus 18, that gives us 38, and then minus six minus six, that gives us negative 12 root 10. So 38 minus 12 root 10 is the answer for number three. And then number four, we got root three plus root six times root three minus root six. Notice that this is actually a difference of squares. So those middle terms are gonna cancel out. So you could actually just multiply the end terms, but let's just do the full process so you can see it. Um, foil it out, root three times root three, that's just three. And then root three times negative root six, that gives us a uh, negative root 18, right? There's like a one and one in front, of, uh, in front, so negative one is there. Root six times root three gives us positive root 18. And then root six times negative uh, root six gives us uh, negative six, like that. And notice, as I said, the middle terms are gonna cancel out. Three minus six gives us negative three. So if you recognize a difference of squares like this, you can just multiply the end terms. So root three times root three is three. Root six times negative root six gives us minus six. Three minus six gives us negative three. And if you plug that into your calculator, you should end up getting negative three. That's how you could check your answer.